I said it's a uh, groundbreaking book from the '60s about theater, but he uh, but he divides his book up into several uh, sections or immediate theater, uh, rough theater, deadly theater, and then finally uh, a chapter called holy theater. And and uh, you know you do encounter holy theater over the years, um, and and Amadeus is holy theater, you know where God is present. It's like a, I said to somebody after I read it the first time. It's like a high mass, you know. It's like it's like a Latin mass. It's a, it's a huge, it's a huge epic play if you tap into that battle with God. And what does Amadeus mean? The God's love, yeah, love God, yeah, yeah, love yeah, of God, yeah. you know, um, and uh, which could almost be taken as a command to love God, you know, one whom God loves, but to love God. So, and of course, you've got. Creation as, as Salieri sees Mozart as a product of God's love, and the opposite of that, you know, there's, there's a um, there's a definition of evil and and love, love being the opposite, of, not necessarily good and evil, but love and evil. That love is about the nurturing of the spirit, of the soul, but maybe you know, well, nurturing the spirit of another human being is really love, whereas evil is about crushing. It's about putting out the light. You know, you'll find that in Othello, where, where, where before Othello goes in, he kills Desdemona in that play. One of the things that he says, he repeats, put out the light and then put out the light. Isn't that interesting? Put out the light of her life and put out the light of God, of goodness. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you, you do encounter that in plays sometimes, and, and, and certainly with, uh, with, with, with this one in particular. And so that's the take that we, that we took on. And, and because of that, we decided not to make it so much about the variety of locations. And as you see in the script, uh, as you read it, it's about traveling from this place to that, right? Um, and one of the places that it travels, of course, is Salieri's dusty old apartment, which is what I say in the beginning. Come, come to me this night, come to this dusty old apartment this time, right? And so we built the whole thing around that dusty old apartment and decided that he would be visited, much like, you know, there's a, there's a real kind of, dick, a, a real Scroogean, real Christmas I have that. Yeah, aspect of this, yeah. You can see that in there, right? And it wasn't, you know, at first when I started to work on it in that direction, I thought, well, maybe that's just kind of, it wasn't that I was trying to, but I didn't stop, I, I, I didn't decide not to follow through with that concept because it could be seen as that. And because it could somehow cheapen it, if somebody said, "Well, it's just Christmas Carol," do you, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Christmas Carol is a profound thing. It's about the, you know, the visitation of your past life upon you and say, "Clean up the mess," you know. So, so it, it's not a bad thing to be.